Edge at 6 and 10 with Sandy Miller, only on Fox 2. Welcome back to the Jacob Report. A bill to legalize same-sex marriage failed to make it to a floor vote in the Illinois General Assembly in Springfield this week. But with more Democrats elected to the new Illinois legislature and more of them coming from the Chicago area, it seems almost certain that gay marriage will be legalized in Illinois during the spring session of the new General Assembly. The Illinois Senate never took up the gay marriage bill because several pro-gay rights members were absent, but there was also unified opposition to same-sex marriage by a coalition of Republicans and conservatives conservative downstate and Metro East Democrats. The numbers in favor of gay marriage in the Illinois will be growing, but the opposition for most of our area's lawmakers probably won't change. I'd have voted no. I'm not prepared to vote to change 10,000 years of cultural and legal history from Hammurabi to Moses to Christ to the prophet Muhammad all the way down to the present age, including the common law of a day. Here we are in, in Springfield being asked to chuck 10,000 years of cultural and legal history. And it's a major change in the law and in culture. And I'm not prepared. I'm not going to vote for it at any time. I think the I believe that it's destructive to the institution of marriage, that that a father and a mother are necessary to raise children? I oppose it. Uh, I, I, I really do always have and, and, and I will continue to do that. But I sense that there will be, that this will pass in, in before, before May. I mean. So where does this leave us? Joining us now is A.J. Bachelman. He's executive director of PROMO, which is the Missouri statewide lobbying and advocacy group representing lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender issues. A.J., good to see you again. Thanks for coming in. How does it strike you that this, it looks like it failed this time, but it looks like this will become legal and apparently fairly easily sail through the Illinois General Assembly, the, the preliminary reads we're getting. Well, nothing's you, ever necessarily You, you easy. look suspicious. I, well, no, no, not suspicious. I do believe this is passed. Um, but nothing's ever easy. Nothing is ever as easy as we think it's going to seem to be. Um, it's historic that the Senate Executive Committee voted to send this out to the full vote. It's unfortunate that several of the allies were not present for the vote to take place, but it, it's taken par for the course. Um, there are going to be various roadblocks that are unforeseen. Um, it is anticipated this will likely pass in the Senate and the House both. There's a bipartisan coalition that is coming together fully in support of this bill. Now, it's interesting. This leaves open the possibility, of course, that if, um, if same-sex couples in the St. Louis area can merely cross the Mississippi River and get a marriage license and have a ceremony performed, they will, and yet they will be returning to a state that doesn't recognize that piece of paper, nor does it recognize the validity of the ceremony. Correct. And the chances of anything like this happening in Missouri are, besides slim to none. Very, very slim. Very slim to none. Unfortunately, uh, what it's going to take for Missouri to actually recognize marriages between same-sex couples is a, a, an act to overturn DOMA, the Defense of Marriage Act. Uh, and there are two cases that have moved forward before the Supreme Court that we believe if there's any sort of a ruling out of that that impacts same-sex couples, that's the way in which we would actually see any relationship recognition in the state of Missouri. And now, for folks around here, I remember when Iowa legalized same-sex marriage. You had buses full of people yep. who were going up to Des Moines and other places to uh, uh, to get married. It seems that in this time, since Illinois is so much closer, that the effect might be larger, that a lot of people might do it despite the fact that it wouldn't be recognized when they, once they come back to their uh, place of residence. I, I think that any time you have uh, a historic measure like this, people want to be a part of history. They see the opportunity to have their relationship recognized, whether it's in the state of Iowa. I wouldn't be surprised if you saw people not only get married in the state of Iowa, but also go over to Illinois and get married uh, because they're looking for that chance when it finally will be chosen to be legal. Uh, what's your read that eventually this is going to end up before the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court is going to have to decide whether or not this patchwork of marriage laws is actually constitutional or whether it's one law for the entire country. Well, if you go back historically, that's exactly what's happened. Uh, 1967, Loving v. Virginia. At that point, this was the court case before the Supreme Court that legalized interracial marriages. At that point in time, you still had 16 states on the books with laws against interracial marriage. 
that and it basically threw all those laws out. We're, we're it's setting up the same practical application under law. What has happened in the last four to eight years? Obviously, around 2003, 2004, you had votes in places like Missouri codifying anti-gay marriage measures in the Constitution, and then suddenly, in the last couple of years, you have seen a number of states reverse that trend. Um, What's happened if people finally discovered that, that, that gay people aren't Satan, or uh, has there been an attitudinal change? Has there been more lobbying uh, on your guys' behalf? What's the sea change here in, in that brief space of six to eight years? It's all of those factors that you just named. It's the fact that more and more people are out. They're out in their workplace. You have, uh, take for example, this past year, you had Representative Zach Wyatt from the Kirksville area that came out while in office to kill uh, uh, the Don't Say Gay bill. It was an effort to try to keep gay straight alliances and teachers and administrators and schools from even talking about gay issues. Ah, but as I recall the case, he was leaving the state to go to Hawaii to pursue graduate studies and therefore was never going to have to run for re-election again, thereby the difference between Missouri and Illinois? Uh, I well, I wouldn't necessarily say that we'd be on the cusp of marriage in our state. No, I was about to say, I, what I meant was that it's a good deal more difficult here, that this is a far more conservative state with a much firmer uh, fundamentalist religious base, and therefore it would be yes. difficult, if not impossible, to pass something like that. Yes. However, I will say that um, the act of someone like Zach Wyatt or the person down the street from you, your teachers, your police officers, your elected officials, your neighbors, your friends, your family, each time someone comes out as gay, lesbian, bisexual, or transgender, it breaks down the barriers. So, final quick question. You, you think this will happen in Illinois? Uh, you know, and we're approaching it pretty matter of factly. If so, people's jaws would have dropped if you'd said uh, same sex marriage would be legalized in Illinois. Pretty pleased with that? I, I'm extremely pleased with that. But I think that every time we have advancement, you have to be careful for the backlash. And I do think that there, um, there, there's always that last breath of a wounded animal that strikes out in very difficult ways. A.J. Bachelman from Promo. A.J., thanks for coming in. We Thank appreciate it. When we return, we'll have some final thoughts on guns and cigarettes. The Jacob Report will be right back. Stay with us, please. When severe weather threatens, Fox 2 News doesn't scare you. We alert and inform you. With over 110 years of combined